The way the hub and spoke works, you have Denver as a hub, and then you'll have flights from, let's say, Lubbock, Albuquerque, Jackson Hole, and Las Vegas. These are the spokes. The spokes cities all fly into the hub. The passengers then change airplanes, and then those flights disperse to different cities across the country. Here's what that looks like on a real-time map. In Los Angeles and San Francisco, you can see traffic going out to Hawaii, traffic into California, and then traffic coming up across the upper northeast. Here's what that looks like on an aircraft schedule. And the color depicts the hub. Aircraft number six, for example, it's flying from Korea, and every time it's in red, it's coming back to San Francisco. The spokes are designed to feed travelers into the hub around the same time to make connections easier and more efficient. But this also creates periods of very high and very low volume in the hub. You'll look throughout the day, and it'll go peak, trough, peak, trough, peak, trough. And that drives cost, because you have a lot of activity and you have no activity. 